So earlier this year I did a mystery pin unboxing video for the Emperor's New Groove character connection puzzle mystery pins and I thought well hopefully those are, will be the only puzzle pins that come out this year that I need but they just recently released a set of Zootopia character connection limited edition mystery puzzle pins and of course since Zootopia is my biggest collection you know I had to get these to try and finish this set. So I actually have eight boxes of these Character Connection mystery pins to open up today. An absolute huge thank you to Lori who helped pick these up for me at Disneyland. I really had been safe for quite a long time in terms of, you know, really wanting to collect entire Character Connection puzzle sets. So these are the limited edition mystery pin sets where you get one pin per box. So once you collect them all, you can form a full puzzle with all the pins together. And these are all the pins that are included in this mystery puzzle set. So we have Clawhauser, Chief Bogo, Judy, Nick, Mayor Lionheart, Assistant Mayor Bellwether, Fru Fru the Shrew, Flash, Mrs. Otterton, which is incredible, and then also Yaks the Yak. So all of these pins shown here, these are all limited edition of 900. And then there's gonna be two other chaser pins and from what I've seen, they look like they are Finnick and Gazelle. So you kind of fit them into the middle of the puzzle. But obviously because it's a puzzle set, you kind of just like want to collect them all. So I will be wanting all of these. I will say I am most in love with the Mrs. Otterton pin. I think that is absolutely incredible. And we'll see how much of this set I can complete today. So because I have eight total boxes and there's only one pin per box, I'm gonna flip the camera around and do this as a POV opening since that way it'll just be a little bit easier and quicker. Okay, so I have all eight of the Zootopia pin boxes here and I'm just gonna open all of them out and take out the blind bags inside so that we don't have to go fully one by one. Okay, now we have all eight of our individual blind bags out. Got my handy scissors, so let's start and see how good our luck is. And our first puzzle, this is Mayor Lionheart. Here's a close up on this first pin. You can see we got the top right corner to the puzzle. No special effects on this enamel, but the puzzle pieces as always are a pretty nice size. And this is just one of the regular pins, so it's a limited edition of 900. We'll take this blind bag next. And our second pin is Flash. This is super cute. You always gotta love Flash the Sloth. And you can see in this upper corner, they have some paw prints that are probably gonna look like the popsicles. And Flash as well is one of the regular non-chaser pins. Okay, so far so good, starting off with at least two unique pins. And let's hopefully get a third different one. And with this pin, wow, I definitely absolutely cursed myself by saying that because we have a double of Mayor Lionheart. It's like I wrongly willed a double into existence. Okay, well maybe pin four will be luckier. I hope we can get at least one chaser out of this batch. And let's see, with this pin, we have Nick Wilde. I really like this expression of Nick Wilde. You don't kind of see this face and depiction on a lot of the pins. You can see this is kind of more of the full paw print that's gonna be running across the whole puzzle set. You can see a bit more of the Zootopia skyline in the background. And another one of the regular LE900s. And at least we already have a good puzzle piece connection. All right, we're already halfway through, so we just basically want to try and end up with no more doubles in this. And this pin is perfect, cause it's Judy. Excellent duo to go with Nick Wilde. We got the Judy Hops pin. She's holding up her ZPD badge. Again, Zootopia Skyline running in the background. And one of the other LE900s. And this one continues on forming the puzzle. All right, three more that are left, three more chances to at least get unique pins and ideally a chaser pin if we can. And with this pin, we have Yaks the Yak. I do really like the green colors of this. It's a very fun, vibrant pin, a little bit different than the colors of the rest of the set. But now we have another corner of the puzzle, the bottom left. 
I have two more pins left. So best case scenario, one of these is a chaser. At least hopefully they're both other unique pins. In terms of the rest of the set, I really, really, really want to get Mrs. Otterton. So let's see if this pin can continue some good luck. We'll open this up. And I, again, I should not be saying anything about not wanting to get doubles since it seems to be a full curse at this point. Uh, another double of Yaks the Yak. All right, so the success hinges on this last pin here. Hopefully we can at least end on a high note. And our final pin. Um, so yeah, this is a low note that we are ending on. Since this is a, another Flash the Sloth. So out of the eight total pins, we ended up with three doubles here, but we at least did get a pretty good start to the full set. We at least got these four connecting pieces there, but man, I really was hoping to get Mrs. Otterton. Such a rare character for a Zootopia pin. Uh, and obviously I'm going to need to complete this set. Uh, did not end up lucky with any of the chasers but I will definitely be looking to trade the others and work on finishing the Zootopia pin puzzle. So this was definitely not my luckiest mystery pin unboxing. I think I used up all of my puzzle luck with the Emperor's New Groove pins because those I actually did get both of the chaser pins through all the mystery boxes that I opened. Unfortunately, no chasers today, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye out and see if anybody's selling them at a reasonable price. And then I do have the three duplicates, so hopefully those should be easy to trade for other characters in the set. At least I'm very happy that I did get Nick and Judy, both of them together, make a nice pair. So, so long as I can trade my three duplicates for the other pins that I need, I'll just need to buy the two extra puzzle pieces to make the full 10, and then likely having to buy the two extra chaser pins if I can find anybody selling them. So hopefully I can have some good luck in completing this set pretty easily. I was just putting my keepers on a little pin board and I realized that this Judy pin must be a little error since you can see everything should be a red paw print, but one of the things of the paw print is white instead of red. The box also shows that that should just be a red paw print. So I'm gonna see if there is a way for me to fix that up. Maybe I have some nail polish that could match or some other kind of paint so that we can have the full effect of the paw prints crossing over. So the video is not over yet. It's about a week later and I have been able to complete the regular puzzle set. So the pins that I traded for slash bought were Clawhauser, Chief Bogo, Mrs. Otterton, and oh my God, would you look at that pin? She's holding the photo that has the family and Mr. Otterton that she brings in. I'm so happy they included her in this set. Then we also have Fru Fru the Shrew with a bonus Mr. Big in the background and then Assistant Mayor Belle Weather. So there you go. This is the completed regular pin set, meaning these are the regular limited edition of 900s. So I still need to hopefully track down the two chaser pins that are Finnick and Gazelle. I have seen them posted almost nowhere. The one listing on eBay for the Finnick chaser uh, was set at $300, so haha, -ha, nice joke. So hopefully I'll be able to find them at some more reasonable prices so that I can fully, fully finish this set with the included chasers. But at least for now, I was able to fit this set as is on this little cork board because as I showed in my full pin collection video, my Zootopia board is at complete max capacity and I already have some other pins on a separate little circle board. But overall, I think this is quite the fun set together. But thanks for watching.